Welcome to Describe in One Word. I'm Daniela, and today we're going over Valentine's Day. I would describe Valentine's Day in one word with chocolate. For this project, all you're gonna need is a plastic bag and a whole bunch of fabric paints. For this one, I went with pink and purple for Valentine's Day. Working on top of the plastic bag, you'll wanna take your first color of fabric paint and just dot, dot, dot in a line. Keep dotting until you have your desired length. You can try measuring your wrist first and then keep going until you've reached that length. After my first color, I moved on to a nice pearly pink and continued on dotting away close to the other color and making sure I'm filling in some of the gaps. After that, I'm moving on to this really cool, it's kind of a white, but also has a bit of sparkle to it and filling in some more dotting away. For the last color for this bracelet, I'm going with purple to finish this one up. If you see there's some blank spots in your bracelet, just go back with your last color and fill them in. After you finish dotting your row of colors, take the back of a paintbrush and start mixing things up. Now there's no real right or wrong way to do this, but the technique I use here to create these kind of cool little hearts in the bracelet is doing a figure eight all the way through. As you can see, it's a little bit thinner on the right side than the left, so I went back through again to thicken things up and make it a little more even all the way throughout the bracelet. To finish things up, I'm just cleaning up the ends and rounding them off, and then that's it. You'll see in a little bit that th unfortunately that bracelet gets ruined, so thank goodness I made a few more. And this next one, as you can see, super ultra fast, <laughs> is white, silver, red. And then I move on to a little bit of pink to lighten things up for that one because it was looking a little bit too Christmassy. After making two more classic type Valentine's Day bracelets, I wanted to make something a little more dark and went for a more anti-Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day bracelet. So this one, as you can see, it's red, black, and then for a little bit of fun, I put in that white glittery paint. You'll see that I made it a little bit too thin and just didn't put enough paint down. So I'm going back through it and making it a little bit wider and cleaning up those missing sort of holes throughout the bracelet. And it made it a little bit more swirly, which kind of gave it a really cool look to it. And that's it. I'm done with my three bracelets and all there is to do is set them overnight and then the next day peel them off the plastic. careful when peeling off the bracelets from plastic and make sure that they don't touch each other like I did right there in the corner. If you do accidentally set one on the other, it's not the end of the world if you catch it easily. They're still a little bit sticky and malleable, so you can get them apart just like I did right here, but be sure when placing them back down to not set it on itself while it's still sticky. As you see, I unfortunately ruined this one, folding it upon itself, didn't notice until way too late, and then trying to peel it off. I don't have long nails, I bite them, so ended up cutting a hole into it and completely ruined it but it's okay, I still have two more bracelets that are super cool. A unique part about these bracelets is there's actually a different design on the bottom and the top, so you can decide which you like more. And that white glittery fabric paint that I thought would dry white is actually clear and ends up just really glittery all throughout, which is neat. 
putting on the bracelets is super easy. All you have to do is put it around your wrist, wrap it around, and then just press it one side onto the other, and that's it. It just sticks to itself, and there you go. Taking it off is also easy. Just grab the end and peel apart. And there you go, a Valentine's Day and anti-Valentine's Day stretchy fabric paint bracelet. Since they're so easy and quick to make, you can either make them for friends for Valentine's or just for yourself. Thanks so much for watching my first DIY video. I'd love to hear in the comments below how you would describe Valentine's Day in one word. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more DIYs. I hope to put them out at least weekly, so stay tuned for more. And feel free to add in the comments below if you have other DIYs you'd like to learn about or share some cool projects you're working on. I'd love to see them.